So You Can Play That Game is proudly sponsored by NiceGameShop.com, the place to go for rare and unusual Asian games. Hi, I'm Michael. Take a seat and join us for a game of Oh My Goods by Mayfair Games. A big game in a tiny little box of resource management and trading where we're each craftsmen trying to be the best craftsmen we can be. But who will be the best? You'll have to watch to find out. And here is the game all set up to learn how to do this. Do watch my how to play video. I've got some added components here, a blue dice and a red dice. This is just to help mark the different players areas. And I'm going to be the blue dice and playing with me we're going to have Pixel as the red dice. And our first active player is going to be Pixel. Firstly, each player can choose whether they wish to discard their entire hand or not. And neither player is going to at this time. Then Pixel will deal each of us two new cards. Then Pixel reveals our opening market. And we get a clay, a wood, and a stone. And that's it. Pixel's char burner requires two wheat and one wood. And no wheat has come out. But she's still going to select to go for an efficient worker. And she's going to put a building to be built as well. In my case, my char burner is needing two clay and one wood, and we've got the cl a clay and a wood there. And I've got two clay in hand, so I'm fairly safe with being able to do that. So I'm definitely going to go for the efficient worker, which would give me nine money. Um, I quite like that these two would go well for engine building. Um, so that's very tempting and then I can just start pounding cards into this which will give me a lot of money um, so I think I'm gonna focus on going for that um, but that does mean these don't work very well for assistance but I think that should be okay so we'll go for building that so we've both picked our closing market Oh, sun already. Oh, more stone. And our second sun. Ah, uh, so I didn't get the clay I wanted. Pixel fails to produce any goods, but she still has enough money to build her new building, because that only costs six. So she discards six cards from her char burner, and she's built an iron smelter which uh, goods will be worth three on and it requires three clay and one stone. So I have one clay, one wood, but I do need another clay. Uh, so I will discard this clay from my hand to make up the clay. So I get two goods added to my char burner for this. And I could throw away wood resources from my hand. I, I know this wood has not been used from the market, but I can't use it um, for this purpose. Only cards from hand can be used for the chains. And so then building, I'm going to build the iron smelter for eight. Which leaves us one card there. And we clear up the market and I become the active player. So do I want to discard my hand? Well. I was going for this whole chaining with this, so I think I definitely shouldn't discard my hand, and that would be very useful, the permanent wheat um, for the card that I just built. So two potentials I want to build, so I definitely don't want to discard, so I will keep hold of my hand, and Pixel will do the same, so I just deal us each two cards. So I've got a wood and a clay. Um, both reasonably useful to me, so that's not too shabby at all. Then our opening market, we get linen and first sun, wood, stone, oh, and then that's it for the opening market uh, with the wheat there. So assigning, well. We'll start with me as I'm the active player, 
we've got one wheat, one wood. So it's only one towards either of my productions. Well, I do have two clay and a wheat in store, which would give me enough for doing either of these things. I do also have some stones though, so I could do the link here and get a card from here. So I think I'm going to go here and just hope that I get the two cards, that I get the stuff in the market for the two cards. Um, but either way, I can use stuff from my hand to make it up. And so building wise then, well I've got one there. I'm assuming I'll get two for there and be able to put a stone and one from there. So I'd have 12, 13, which isn't enough for the 17 building that I want. So I think make it easier for triggering in the future, I'll build this black one, uh, which also put me towards one of the apprentices then. So we'll go for that. Pixel's going to go inefficient worker on her iron smelter here and she's going to put a card face down to build. Then our closing market. Oh, first sun already. Oh, second sun. Okay, so just a stone and a wood there. Um, so on to phase four. Uh, well, I'm not using my char burner. I was using this building here, uh, my iron smelter. So Wow, uh, it's literally just the one wheat there. So I need to give up another wheat. And then two clay. So that has powered the smelter. So I get two resources. Plus, I'm going to throw in a stone from my hand along with good from my char burner which is what this cog means it has to come from here and that will give me another two in there so i've now got one two three four times three twelve money and this costs eight so one two three nine money because i don't get any change builds me the uh, market office here which will now mean I have a permanent one wheat. And it looks like Pixel was right to go inefficient because frankly, uh, no clay came out. So there's plenty of stone, so she doesn't have to worry about the stone, uh, but she does need then two clay because she can reduce it by one. So she'll do that, two clay from hand, and she gets the one good on there for her smelter. But she is also going to give up a stone from hand and a card from her char burner, giving her two cards on there. So she's got three, so that's nine value. The building that she had cost six, which is a window manufacturer. And Pixel is now the active player for our new round. And he's going to keep hold of these cards. And of course I'm doing the same. So she'll take two cards and then I get a wheat and a clay. Which uh, probably be useful I think. Then Pixel reveals our opening market. We've got a linen, a wood, another linen another linen and a clay uh, I wish I had something that needed linen I don't but Pixel doesn't have that problem her window manufacturer wants free linen that's there and two clay and there's already a clay there so it's unsurprising she's gonna go for an efficient worker on there and then she'll place this building face down and decisions are much harder for me. Um, you know, I could go for my char burner and I've got the wood and one cut of the clay. Or I've got the one clay and from this I've got one of the wheat. Um, 
so I'd still be short. In my hand, I've got the card I want to build, which I'm working towards getting enough money for that 17. Uh, and I've got a red clay, so I'd be one short on the iron smelter at the moment. I mean, maybe what makes sense is to build up some value in the char burner to convert it into the iron smelter on another turn while I know I can do that. Um, uh, what would I build though? Uh, I'd only have a small amount of money and not enough to get an assistant. Hmm. So I mean, the, the smallest amount of money one would be this which isn't going to be overly helpful but it is two points or I could just save the cards which might make the most sense because I'm probably going to need it. I think, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to work on building cards into there. So we're going to go for an efficient use on the char burner there and that should hopefully work out well with the cards we've got. Uh, and we won't do a building. So our closing market, we get a wood, another linen, we, we really didn't, oh and that's two suns. Ah, oh, I was hoping for a clay. Pixel was also hoping for a clay because there's one in the market and there's plenty of linen, but she's one short, but she does have a clay in hand, so she'll use that getting her two cards on her glass maker and then her building costs 12 so these are worth five each and this is worth three so that's 13 which is enough and that gets her her butcher I'm also a clay short so if we look in my hand we have a clay so that'll get me two on there and I could throw in a wood to get a third card, so I think I'm going to do that. So I'll discard a wood to get a third resource on my char burner there. And I didn't select anything to build, so that's me done. And we clean up and I become the active player. So do I wish to discard my hand? No, because I really want to build this. I've just got to get the money for it. Um, so, no, I won't be discarding. And neither will Pixel. So we each get two new cards, which I get a wheat and a wood. Let's reveal our opening market. We have a clay, a wheat, and our first son. And a second wheat and our second sun. Well, two wheat and one clay is pretty perfect for my iron smelter. And I've now got lots of cards in my char burner. Um, the question is, do I have the other cards I need? I don't have the stone I need, which is a shame. Um, and I don't have any clay. I could take the risk on clay. I mean, if I got two cards in there that would put me to 9 12 I'd still be shy of my 17 I'm after so I think the sensible way to go about this um, I don't really know that there is a sensible way oh, let's gamble let's hope we get a clay out and uh, hopefully next hand we'll get more wood, sorry, more stone, so that we can do that again. We should keep those in case we need them for resources. So maybe we'll build this one, it's cheap. Um, or do we want to save up for the one we actually want? I think we'll build it. It's cheap and uh, it's points, which uh, we're, we're running a little low on at the moment. For Pixel, she's going to go for an inefficient work on her new building, uh, which is kind of surprising because there's no stone out, but maybe she's got a handful of stone. 
Uh, and building wise, she's going to place that one. And fingers crossed for a clay in our closing market. Not aha clay and our first sun and another wood, another stone also. Oh, and a wheat. So it doesn't look like pixels paid off, but minded as we've got plenty of wheat and plenty of clay. Unfortunately, I don't have the stone to sacrifice, but I do still get two goods on there. And the building cost free, so I'll take one good off. Pixel has plenty of wheat, and there's two stone. She needs one less, so she needs one stone from her hand, which she does have. So she manages to produce one good, and she doesn't have any cow production to throw on the fire for that. The card, is she going to build it? She is. It costs seven, which is same as her one good. And that's a second light blue one for her. And Pixel is now an active player, and she's actually going to discard her hand. She's not very happy with it. So four cards, so she gets four new cards. And I'm actually going to do the same. I'm going to discard my three cards. I know I've been working for ages to get towards this, but I feel like I'm falling behind and I'm not managing to get to it. So I think I should give up on it and uh, just go after something else, or am I being premature? Because I mean, this is going to be very hard to then trigger as only thing. Oh, I'd really like some stone. No, I'm, I'm going to hold on to them. Might be foolish, but I'm holding on to them. So we each get two cards, and do I get some stone? I get one stone and one wheat. Pixel then reveals our opening market. We have a wheat, a linen, and another linen, which is our first sun, and we're out of cards. So we reshuffle the discard pile, and we continue drawing. And a wood for our second sun. Pixel's going to move her worker to the window manufacturer and leave it as inefficient and we'll aim to build that so the main resource in the market is linen i don't have anything using linen i've got a stone here wood and a lot of wheat and how much money have i got here six eight nine really i want to trigger this i've got nothing there to help though oh, i've got one wheat two wheat no clay, I've got no clay in my hand. Any option I go for, I would need clay. Um, so I need to build something that doesn't need clay, really. Uh, so we'll go inefficient because at least I'll be able to move this stuff in, one of those in, along with one of these, which would give me two plus one card. So 3, 5, 15, 2 there, 17. So we'll, we'll aim to build what we've been working towards all this time. Um, we'll see if it happens or not. The closing market then. Well, that's not clay, it's more linen. Um, ah, that's it. More linen and more wood. Um, well, that's not good for either of us. So neither of us can actually do our trade, so we just... Both for taking our cards back into our hands, our building cards. We clear up, and I am now the active player. And I'm going to stubbornly still not discard my hand. And neither is Pixel, so two cards each. We get clay and a wood card. Well, hmm. neither of those is great, but at least neither of them, if I choose to build them, needs clay for production, which is a problem I've been having. Then our opening market, we get a wood, wood and a wheat, that's it. So I think I'm going to go pretty much same as last time, because we've got the two wheat between this card here and the market, and we've now got 
a clay in hand. So we're only one clay short. We didn't get any clay last time, so I'm going to assume there's going to be clay in the market. So that'll get us two cards in here, plus two more. So we'll have plenty then to build the one we've been working on for ages. So we'll go with that. Pixel's then going to keep her worker there, but she's going to make him efficient. And she will build that card there. Depending, of course, on the closing market. And we have a wheat, a clay. Good, good. I needed that. A linen. Well, Pixel needs both of those. More clay. Pixel still needs... We're still out of sun. Oh, my God. Another clay. So we're good on clay. <laughs> both of us are now plenty on clay. Oh, we've got our first sun, a stone. Neither of us need stone. Pixel wants more linen, but we get more clay. Wow, so much clay. And more clay. Okay, so we've got five clay. Blimey. Looks like I was right playing the odds about the clay. Uh, we hadn't had any a while. I wasn't expecting quite that much, but I was expecting some. Uh, we've got all the wheat and clay that's needed. So two. And uh, we'll get rid of stone and char burner onto there as well. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six on there now. So there's 18 value, 20 value there. And... We'll build that for 17. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is 15, 16, 17. Right. Now I want to leave those. I'd rather take the one card off here. Let's do it that way. That way if we get some stone we can easily shift it across. Although if we left the card on there we could just shift the card from there to there doubling its value. But we'd also need cards on the char burner to do this. I don't know. We'll go with that. So, Pixel has all the clay she needs, but she is short two linen. Can she make that up from her hand? Yep, she can. So she'll do that. Uh, so she gets two cards on there, so that's ten value. And she will build that, which she doesn't get the change though. So that's our, her third one of those, uh, that colour, and gives her a bit more variety on what's coming out as to what to go for. Clear up, and Pixel is the new active player. Does she wish to discard her hand? Well, that's a very good question. Yeah, she's going to. I don't think she's got anything hugely useful in that, so she's going to discard it. She's five cards, getting her five new cards. And uh, I've got four, five cards myself. And I don't anymore have that wood one that I've been working for ages towards and hugely attached to. Um, so I don't need to worry about that attachment. And I'd really like some stone. So I'm going to discard these five in the hope that I get some stone. And uh, we get wheat. Linen, linen, wood, a stone at least. So, could be worse. And then we each get two cards. And I get two wood. The opening market, we get a stone. Oh, a stone and a wheat is all. Well, Pixel's Butcher's needs wheat and stone. So, I think she's going to go for that. She's going to go efficient um, and... Pray for a lot more cards, I think. Given the bumper crop of clay last round, and the fact that there's none in the opening market, I've got none in my hand, I really don't want to go for any building that has clay. So that kind of leads this, and it's do I go for efficient or inefficient? Um, hmm. Well, I mean, I'm not going to be able to throw any extra into there, because I've not got anything on my iron smelter. Uh, I do have all the wood and all but one linen, but there's no linen there. So I don't really want to use all of it out of my hand. I think it makes more sense to go inefficient, just to get me the six that I need to then be able to use it for building something to get some points. Um, question is what? 
I mean, that would give me a permanent linen, which would help trigger that again, which would be useful. And it's also, it'll be three points, but it would use all my cards. Well, let's go with that. We'll go with the black one, because then it will also set me up to next time, if I can't afford a building, go for a person. So we'll do that. Will it pay off? Only our closing market can know. And we get a stone. Okay, I want wood and linen. That's, that's not wood or linen. Neither is more stone. Looking very good for pixel. Some wood. That's good for me. I wanted wood. More stone. So that's all the stone pixel needed. So all she needs to do is have a wheat in hand. It's going... Wow, again, no sun. Uh, got a linen, which is good for me. A wheat, so that's everything Pixel needs in the market. Wow. Okay. Um, no, I still need two linen. Well, that does mean I've got everything I need if I use cards from my hand, which is good because we've now got a second sun. So we have another wheat, which is of no use to me. And I've just realised Pixel was meant to have a building down. And she didn't, or I put my cards on top of it. Um, so she will put... Uh, that's not the right one. It was that one down. Sorry that uh, I made that error. Uh, so yes, as I said, in the market, she has four stone, three wheat. So plenty of wheat. Uh, she doesn't have any cows. So she'll just get the two goods on there they are worth seven a piece and the building she wants to build is seven so that will take one of those cards away uh, so she now has one two three four five six seven one more building will end the game so i really need to pick things up a bit um let's see wood and linen we have one of each in the market only so I need to do two from hand of each. Well, I've only got two linen. And I've got three wood cards. Chance of me being able to afford. That one are pretty slim. Uh, that one just costs more. I'll go with that one. So go to those two. Gets me one. Oh, I only need to get rid of one of less of those. So I will keep. I'll keep the cheap one. I only get one card, uh, which is worth six, and the card I wanted to build cost eight, so that's all my goods gone for my six card. So I'm I am a building behind, which is going to hurt me on points, I think. So I need to ensure I build next time. So is it makes sense for me to get rid of these? I mean, a linen and a wood will help me trigger my most valuable building. So I think it makes sense to keep hold of them. And Pixel will be keeping hold of her cards as well. And we each get two more. So we get clay and a stone isn't going to make much difference at this point. Ideally, I want to get this five-point building done, uh, but I don't see any way I could possibly do that, unfortunately. So, most points I can hope for is if I can build this black one for three points with eight money, or I can use four money to get two points. Uh... Well, let's see what the markets hold. So, opening market, we get clay, linen, and wood. Hmm. Well, that's a whole lot of nothing for me. Well, I guess a linen and a wood is good, because I have do have one of each. So, including this, that means I've got two linen there, and one wood, plus these, means I'd just be one wood short. So, chance of one wood coming out, I'd say pretty good. So, we're going to go for that, which would then even mean I could buy this. 
because I'd have 12 money. Uh, yeah. Or I could go for the assistant and have a card left that would buy me a point, which would work out the same number of points. So we'll go with building that. Pixel is going to go for an inefficient worker on her butchers uh, because it's her favourite building and she's going to try to build her eighth building. So our closing market which is for our potentially final round. Pixel needs stone and wheat. I need wood and linen and I've actually worked out that I've got enough I just need either a wood or a linen to come out. So let's have a look. Neither of us needs clay. Uh, wood, I need wood, so that's good for me. Uh, pixel needed wheat. No, for the clay and a linen. So that's good for me, not good for pixel. So because of this building here, I do have enough linen. Uh, I have two of the three wood I need, so I need one more wood. So I'll get rid of that, which is enough to trigger this. And then I'll build that, which will take both the cards uh, for my seventh building, which will give me three more points though. So at least I won't be quite as badly beaten. Well, that's assuming Pixel can build her building because her resources really didn't come out. She wanted four stone and none came out and two wheat and only one came out. Uh, she did go for inefficient, so that will help her somewhat. So she needs a lot of cards from her hand though to make this up. Well, there's four stone, so Four stone from her hand, plus the one wheat in the market and the minus one there is enough to do it. So she gets one card and her building cost was six so that will take the card that she just got. Meaning that's the end of the game because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we count up points. Well. She buys one point with this good because it's worth over five. So that's one, four, eight, eleven, thirteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty points for Rogue. And I'm not sure I'm anywhere close. So we've got four, six, eight, eleven, fourteen, seventeen. Not that much in it, literally one more building. If I'd had one better round there where I'd managed to build a three point building, we would have been drawn. And that is Oh My Goods by Mayfair Games. I do hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have, please do check out the rest of the videos on the channel as well as subscribing and sharing. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.